Uh, hello riders, this is Chinmay from Make Edo Clinic Pune. Today I am going to show you how to clean ECU connector or any electronic component which is fitted on the bike. All the electronic components are basically very sensitive to handle. So you have to be very great and you have to take very great care while handling all those uh, you know, uh, spares. Since this is fitted in a uh, motorcycle, so I will call this a spare. This is an electronic component, this is a, a ECU, electronic control unit, or the model or ECM, what we can say. This belongs to two wheeler. This has got a connector. One connector for the communication purpose and another connector for the main motorcycle harness. This is a complete brain of the motorcycle. So you have to be very well uh, careful and you have to keep this connector all the time clean to make sure that that bike will not have any problem on the road while riding the bike. Uh, this is a connector as you can see, this is a, in details I can show you if we uh, can zoom. So this is a connector, these are the pins, these are uh, very uh, sensitive to handle so don't try to use any kind of a metal pin or something or object to clean or uh, to scratch or to scrub the material from the ECU connector from the uh, inside. Don't use any cloth also, don't use any kind of a air, high compressed air to clean the connector, just leave it as it is. This is the ECU which will keep it aside. We have chemicals, special chemicals to clean the ECU connector or electronic any any electronic connector. These are the basically chemicals what we are going to use. Now these are three chemicals what we are going to use to clean the connector and to make sure I mean to ensure the in the future the connector will not get deposited by the debris. There is a sequence for the I mean uh, which you have to follow. These are three uh, chemicals from wood. This is oxide. Uh, what you can say oxidation remover as you can say it's written on the bottle this is a lacquer coat which you have to use and then this is the grease this is a non-conductive grease basically which will not uh, uh, connect from internally but yes when you connect the connector then only it uh, scrubs with the I mean the connector scrubs with the metal so it will ensure at least it will not uh, connect with any other pin now there is a sequence how we have to use first of all remover uh, oxidation removal since there is the oxidation inside. Then we will be using lacquer coat on the uh, pins which will ensure there will be some lacquer coat on the pin and then grease which will ensure that there will be no moisture inside. Right? Now how we are going to use? Just a very simple trick, uh, I mean a step to use. Keep all those both the chemicals aside. Shake this water very well. I'll show you. That's it. Oxidation will get removed by the chemical. Since this is a completely sealed module, so the chemical will not go inside. So don't worry about it. It's completely sealed. It has got a lot of resins inside, so it won't go inside. Just shake it up. Rip it off. The chemical is based on alcohol, so the chemical will uh, dissolve like that only. That's it. Now we have to wait for some time. Just in case if something else is there, I mean some more, uh, if just in case if there is any more uh, oxidation, if the level of oxidation is high, then you can spray one more time and then you can leave it as it is, just rip it off, it will go. As you can see, the connector is totally clean. I'll show you in zoom. Perfect. Now we are going to use lacquer coat on the connector. Since this is clean, I am not going to use cloth to remove whatever the left inside. Leave it as it is, nothing is going to harm. Completely clean. This is a lacquer coat. Shake it again. Just spray it on the... That's it. Very little quantity. Very little quantity. You don't need to uh, spray like a... Saloon. Right? Let it dry like that only. So it will cover up all the pins properly. Let it dry. 
since this is a video, so I'll have to do it a little bit fast. Otherwise, generally I keep it a little bit uh, for longer period for drying purpose. So after drying that lacquer coat, you have to use silicon spray grease. This is non-conductive grease, so it will not harm again. This is uh, to avoid the moisture inside, right? So water will not enter inside. After lacquer coat, I will be spraying. That's it. That's it. I'm done. This is the last step which you have to follow. If liquid is uh, inside, then just leave it. Just rip it off. You can keep it like this also, just in case if you want to avoid some more liquid from inside. But nothing is going to harm since it's a non-conductive based grease. That's it, you are done with the uh, coating of the ECU connector. Then, after drying, you can reattach this ECU and you can have a taste of the vehicle. Thanks for watching, enjoy.